I can appreciate that the wettest stories ever told is a well-written episode of The Simpsons. There are some good bits of dialogue, things flow very well, but it's not my kind of episode. I've mentioned before, I'm not the biggest fan of episodes where we have stories within a story and we imagine the characters in different roles. Sometimes it's okay, but this isn't one of those times for me. This is the 18th episode of the 17th season of The Simpsons, directed by Mike Bianderton, David Silverman, and... The Simpsons are waiting for their dinner. The chef's having an issue with the special. So to pass the time, they tell sea-based stories. And the first one I quite liked, for one weird... Well, it might not be weird, but it's a bit of a coincidence. It's Journey on the Mayflower. And last week, I watched the first episode of Charlie Brown. Uh, this is America, Charlie Brown, which is about the Mayflower. So it was just a, a bit of a coincidence that within the space of a couple of days, I've watched two animations telling the same story. So I quite liked that. I thought it was very interesting. This is certainly a very different version. Um, and it was well animated. It was well written. It poked fun at, well, I'm going to say it poked fun at, at the Voyagers quite a lot, um, which worked quite well. And it, it was okay. I didn't mind it. Then we have Mutiny on the Bounty and the Neptune Adventure, the second and third stories. And I just didn't care for them at all. I didn't find them interesting. I didn't find them that fascinating. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, ship-based narratives or sea-based narratives anyway. That's not to say there aren't any that I enjoy, but it's not my go-to, if you know what I mean. They were fine. They were well written, and there were a few bits of dialogue here and there that I thought were either very well done, very witty, very clever, um, some cheesy eye-rolling moments which are not too bad, but as an episode, I just... It's not my kind of Simpsons episode. So, yeah, I can appreciate that it's well written and well animated. There's one bit of animation I loved, absolutely adored, but it's literally the last thing we see, so I'll discuss it in a moment. Um, but I can appreciate how well written it is. Everything flows really well. It's very funny in certain parts, but even when it was funny, I was still thinking, I wish this was an ordinary episode where we're in Springfield and you know, whatever. So it's not my kind of story, but I can appreciate that it's good. 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb, which is a fairly average rating for The Simpsons at this time, so it seems to be relatively well received. Not necessarily by me, but again, there were a few good moments that I liked, um, and I can appreciate the quality, even if it doesn't appeal to me personally. But the one bit I loved that I thought was fantastic, and this is a spoiler for the very last thing we see, so spoiler from now, this is all I have to say. At the very end, Bart and a couple of the other characters are skeletons, and Bart just looks amazing. I absolutely love the design of him. I think he looks fantastic, and it made me smile. So it ended, for me, on an exceptionally high note, but unfortunately the rest of it was just not my not my personal taste. But generally, I can't really complain about the wettest stories ever told. As an episode, it's well-constructed and well-written and well-animated. It's just not my kind of thing.